NASA Sunita Williams who has been stranded in space will not be coming back to Earth anytime soon. She is now 100% stuck in space as NASA delayed the mission due to issues on Boeing Starliner. Originally planned as a week-long mission, the stay of the first NASA astronauts to fly with Boeing could extend now to eight months due to ongoing issues with Starliner's safety. NASA is weighing all options beyond Starliner to bring back the astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore from space. The US Space Agency said that it has weighed in on several options. Now, one of those would ensure the return of the two astronauts to Earth in 2025, which is next year. And this plan involves Boeing's rival SpaceX. Now, will Sunita Williams actually return to Earth in 2025? Well, referring to the Screw 9 launch, Steve Stitch, manager with the Commercial Crew Program, explained just how they plan to bring the two Starliner astronauts back to Earth. Uh, the team is doing great. The joint uh, Boeing and NASA team is doing well. They're working uh, side by side with each other every day. We're methodically looking, working through the data and uh, we'll uh, come home when we're ready. This is a very complicated subject. The helium leaks combined with the thrusters, combined with how the GNC flight control system will work during the deal burn. Getting everybody educated and understanding that ahead of the uh, flight readiness review is the next step that that we have on our side. It aims to bring back Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore next year by 2025. Well, things haven't really gone quite as planned since the two American astronauts blasted off on a test mission to the International Space Station on 5th June. They were expecting to be back home in a matter of days. However, Barry Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams are now still there floating high above the Earth nearly two months later. The pair, who are stuck indefinitely, now face the sudden prospect of missing the summer entirely and perhaps even Christmas and New Year's in space. NASA is working with SpaceX to try and bring the astronauts back. This plan would entail selecting just two out of the four astronauts initially assigned to the mission, while also adding additional spacesuits for Wilmore and Williams. NASA announced the postponement of the SpaceX Crew-9 mission, moving its launch to September 25th this year. However, that decision hasn't really been made yet. The officials have indicated that it will take a week or more to reach any sort of concrete conclusion. Returning the astronauts using a SpaceX craft would be a significant setback for Boeing, which has already been trying for years to compete with its rival and was very optimistic and hopeful for its latest mission. Detailed planning is already underway with Boeing's rival SpaceX that's owned by Elon Musk to potentially launch their scheduled Crew-9 mission in September with just two astronauts rather than the usual four. Well, everything isn't right with Starliner, which does need software configuration. Initially, this mission, which was expected to last only eight days, has been extended due to the propulsion system problems on Starliner. These issues have increasingly raised concerns about the spacecraft's ability to safely return the astronauts to Earth that was originally planned. Boeing has been conducting a rigorous testing campaign to address all of these big issues that have come up, which includes a thruster failure and helium leaks as well. This has also led to internal disagreements within NASA about whether to accept the risk of a Starliner return or opt for the safer alternative of using Crew Dragon. If NASA decides to change Starliner's mission, Boeing will have to configure the spacecraft for an uncrewed return. And this is going to be a huge setback for Boeing, which is already facing numerous challenges in developing the Starliner, including management issues and then engineering problems. The development of Starliner has cost Boeing $1.6 billion since 2016, including $125 million for the current test mission. Meanwhile, there have also been concerns over the health of these astronauts because of their extended stay in space. Astronauts who spend that extended period of time in space often face a range of eye health issues due to the prolonged exposure to microgravity. Sumita Williams, in fact, has recently undergone a comprehensive eye examination along with her crew members as well. These scans focus on capturing detailed images of the cornea lens and optic nerve to better understand the potential effects of long-duration spaceflight on human vision. Medical professionals on Earth are also closely monitoring the procedures, ensuring the accurate collection of data. There have also been reports of the astronauts facing other health issues like bone density loss. 
As per experts, the absence of gravity leads to a rapid decrease in both muscle mass and bone density. So while NASA and Boeing continue to evaluate the spacecraft's readiness and its return back to Earth, the astronauts who are in the midst of all of this uncertainty and while facing these challenges are keeping their spirits up, sharing updates of their experiences of watching awe-inspiring weather phenomena. However, tensions remain high with concerns rising each day for the safe return of the astronauts.